Hey, what's going on folks? Dylan here from PlasmaCuttersReviews.com. We got our hands on the famous Lotos LTP5000D. Now, the reason I say it's famous is because this is the machine that has been bestseller on Amazon for, I think, four plus years now. It's got a pretty good market share, actually. A lot of people use this machine and like it. There's a lot of positive reviews. And I, this is the machine that I get the most questions about. And for good reason. It's got a lot of functionality. It's dual voltage. It's got pilot arc. Um, you know, it's got really, really good performance numbers and it's less than 500 bucks, right? So it's kind of a no brainer why people really want to know more about this machine. So today we're going to be sticking this machine through our performance test. If you haven't seen any of our performance tests before, it's very basic. We're going to start off with uh, maximum output of the machine and we're going to start with quarter inch steel, do a cutting test uh, up it to half inch, three quarter inch, one inch, wherever this cuts off. We're just gonna keep going until the machine uh, cannot cut the metal that we throw at it. So it's a good way to evaluate the performance and also just to get a feel of the machine of how it cuts. Uh, so like I said, this is a very popular machine and we do have a couple extra components that we had to purchase. One of them being the pigtail adapter here. This is so we can hook it up to 110. So everything that is used in this video will be down in the video description. So I'm gonna make it nice and easy for you guys if you want to reference any of the parts or the machine in this video. It will be in the video description and that will also help support the channel. So thank you very much uh, for visiting those links. We appreciate it. And we want to bring you guys more videos like this. So let's go ahead and open up the box, see what's inside, and then we'll get straight to the cutting test. So inside the box, you will find the machine itself. Nice little brochure with some warranty information and stuff like that. This is the style 220 plug that comes on there. We have the torch itself, which feels really good. Came in a little carrying case, which is always nice. We have the work clamp there. It came with some extra consumables. And then this is the pigtail adapter that we purchased. As you can see, this will allow you to just go ahead and plug it into a standard wall socket. We're gonna be testing this machine on 220 as well as 110 to get you guys performance numbers for both because this is a dual voltage machine. Okay, we got her plugged into 220. She is turned all the way up on max. As you can see here, we got our air pressure at 65 pounds. It says right there for 240 volts, 30 to 70 PSI. Put it right about 65. And uh, we got everything hooked up here. We are good to go. Let's get to the cutting test. Okay, so to perform our test, we got some quarter inch flat bar here. This is the pieces that I pulled out of my scrap pile. I went ahead and cleaned them up to make sure they were nice and clean. And this is what we will be using to perform the cutting test. We'll start with one, two, three, et cetera, move our way up. Okay, so the first thing I wanna test is just simply the pilot arc feature to make sure that this will arc without actually grounding to the metal. So let's test that real quick. Uh, actually seems very responsive, so that's good. And now pilot arc seems to be working, so let's go ahead and get to the cut. Okay, this is quarter inch flat bar. Machine is turned all the way up to 50 amps on 220. Here we go. Okay, so here's our quarter inch cut. Looks really, really clean. I'm actually very impressed with that. I love how fast the pilot arc fires. It makes using this machine very easy. Um, there is a little bit of slag there at the bottom, but that can easily be cleaned up by a bench grinder. So quarter inch, no problem whatsoever. Very, very capable. That's really good. Let's go ahead and move on to half an inch. Up next is half inch. This is two pieces of quarter inch flat bar. So we're cutting half inch, the machine is still maxed out at 50 amps, running on 220, let's do it. Okay, here's our half inch cut. That is a beautiful cut. That actually looks really good. I'm amazed by that. For a machine less than 500 bucks to cut like that, that is amazing. Once again, a little bit of slag there at the bottom. We can clean that up with a uh, bench grinder, regular grinder, no problem. But man, that is very, very impressive. I'm very pleased with that. Let's go ahead and uh, load her up with three quarter of an inch and see what she can do. Three quarters of an inch, 
Still maxed out at 50 amps, running 220. Let's see if she can get through it. Okay, this three quarter inch cut, as you can see, it did go all the way through. Uh, I did have to tap on it with the hammer a little bit to get it to fall off, but it did go all the way through. As you can see, they're a lot, really, really rough on the bottom, so you'd really have to clean that up, but I can't believe it. That is definitely the maximum thickness, though. There's no way that it would cut anything thicker than that. I really had to go slow for it to get that far, but still very amazing for a machine this price. Let's move on to testing this machine on 110. I have it hooked up via the pigtail adapter that uh, Loto sells hooked directly to the machine and I'm going to be running it at 20 amps which is the maximum that I could run here in my shop on this type of connection so let's see how it does in quarter inch steel. Okay running on 110 machines at 20 amps one single piece of quarter inch flat bar here we go. That quarter inch cut on 110 looks pretty damn good. Nice and smooth, can be easily be cleaned up. I think you could definitely use this machine on quarter inch, no problem. I did have to go pretty slow, so I'm gonna say that this is close to the max maximum thickness that it can cut, but uh, we're gonna throw half inch in just to see if we can get through it. Okay, this is the attempt at half inch on 110. We're at 20 amps. This is the previous one that I cut with the uh, when it was on 220. We're just going to do a cut right behind this and see if we can get through it. Let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stop it right there. It was not penetrating all the way through. I was just blowing sparks everywhere. So I'm gonna say half inch is a no, quarter inch is definitely a yes. I think quarter inch at 110 is probably your maximum thickness that you're realistically gonna be able to cut. Um, it just did not penetrate all the way through that half inch no matter how slow I went. I even tried to lead it a little bit to try to heat up the metal to cheat it and uh, it just wasn't doing it. So quarter inch is gonna be your cutoff for 110. So now that we're all through with the cutting test, what do I think of this machine? To be honest, this is an amazing machine for the price. The Pilot Arc is very, very responsive. I was actually caught off guard with how fast the torch started. Um, even on my Hypertherm machines, they don't start that fast. I was very impressed by that. Um, I like the quality of the work clamp. The torch seems pretty good. I like how it has a protective casing here on the torch line. You all know that we drop, you know, uh, hot metal and stuff on these all the time. We also drop heavy pieces of metal and step on them. Having this casing is really nice. Um, the machine itself functioned great. I was very impressed by the cutting capabilities. And for less than $500, this thing is ridiculous. I, I mean, I am blown away. Um, I really like here, we have the air pressure gauge. I think that's very convenient. Everything's very easy to hook up. One thing I'm not crazy about is this pilot arc. This seems very cheap to me how they did this. I mean, it connects to the machine just fine, but I would like something a little heavier duty than that. Um, that's the only thing that was kind of like my gripe. I didn't really like that. But everything else hooked up very easily. Um, digital readout works great. Uh, it was really easy to connect the air. The pigtail adapter worked great. This is actually a really high quality adapter. Um, I really like uh, how heavy duty it is and it worked just fine. 
I, I gotta tell you guys, this is the best machine under a thousand bucks. And the fact that it comes in at around 500 just makes it that much better. I mean, when you're talking about buying any machine higher than this, you're not gonna really get any more for your money until you're at about 1300 bucks. Okay, the next step up from this machine is the Hobart 27i. You know, and with Hobart, you're gonna get a machine that's probably a little bit more durable. It's built a little better. It's, it's gonna handle rougher environments better. But in terms of performance, this machine is right there with it. And uh, I am just very, very impressed and blown away by this. So is this a good buy? Absolutely. I mean, this is, is pretty amazing. So guys, I hope you find this video helpful. As always, all the gear used in this video will be linked in the video description below. And thank you guys for your support. We hope to do more videos like this and have more machines sent to us so we can give you guys all the information you need to make an educated decision on your machine. We love doing these performance tests. They're a lot of fun and just kind of putting all these machines head to head. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to post them below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. You guys have a good one and good luck on your new machine.